Okay. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. Welcome um, to this month's DCYF webinar. Um, we'll do introductions in just a second, but um, if you're a uh, early learning professional, a child care provider that would like to learn more about the business supports that are available to you um, as a participant of early achievers, then you are in the right place. Uh, DCYF and Child Care World of Washington are excited to partner and offer this webinar that focuses on supports, services, and resources that are available to uh, grow and strengthen your child care business as an early achievers participant. So let's do a few introductions. All righty. Um, I'm there in the middle. Uh, my hair's pulled back a little bit different here. My name's Sandy Maldonado. Um, it's great to be with you this evening. Thanks for making time. I'm the Director of Early Learning at Child Care Aware of Washington. Um, and that just means that um, I help su uh, support and oversee all the services that go out to our early learning professionals. And um, I'll turn it over to my colleague, April, to introduce herself. Hi, I'm April Ferguson. I am the Program Engagement Specialist and I help support Sandy with business supports in Child Care World of Washington. Um, I also run some of the platforms, which is Visage, but you'll learn about that. Um, I'm gonna pass it over to Colleen to introduce herself. Hi, I'm Colleen Androdi. I'm the Business Supports Manager uh, in the Early, Division, Early Learning Division here at BCYF. What that means is I am just here to support statewide efforts um, in building and maintaining, sustaining um, healthy businesses for child care providers across the state. Thanks, Colleen, so much. Um, anyone else from the DCYF team before we move forward? I see a smile from Colleen, so I think we're okay. Yes, all right. Um, so here's our flow for today, um, this evening. Um, as Marlene shared with us, we'll, we'll have a presentation for you. We'll share some information, um, and then we'll make sure to take a, a moment um, toward the end um, to answer any questions you've dropped in the chat. So we do wanna encourage you as questions come up to you, please drop them in the chat. We're going to be collecting those throughout the webinar. And then if you also have just any question that pops up toward the end, we invite you to just uh, open up your mic and share your question with us and we'll do our very best to get you those responses. Um, so today's webinar, we're gonna provide an overview of Child Care Aware of Washington and Early Achievers. Um, and um, kind of just a, a, a quick tour of the supports and resources that are available to you as an early achievers participant. Um, throughout that time, we'll, we'll break down some of those numerous supports, um, kind of really keen in on some of the, the business uh, supports um, that you know are available to you that maybe you're not fully aware of, um, that helps kind of uh, helps you manage and operate your program in a holistic way. So be thinking about those questions that are related to um, helping you run your program um, in a supportive way. Um, and I think with that, um, I just wanna share that CCA of WA, we call it CCA of WA, CCA of Washington, really prides itself in offering great customer service. So you can always expect um, a response within two to three business days if you have a question. One of our members from the early learning team um, will be able to respond to you within that time frame, And so we're gonna share with you in the chat um, our email address. If you have any questions about early achievers or business supports, feel free to, to connect with us. Um, I just wanna reiterate that all of the supports and services that are provided for you through early achievers are free and at no cost to you. The only thing that may have a small service fee is if your program's interested in getting customized professional development in uh, and training, um, there might be like a small fee to customize that. But other than that, coaching services, mental health supports, uh, technical assistance, um, 
training, those kinds of things, most of those are free to you um, as a benefit to becoming an Early Achievers uh, participant. Um, so let's get started. So we'll start with a little bit of Child Care Aware of Washington. And so you can read about us um, a little bit there. I won't, you know, reread the, the bullets. Um, they're there for you, but I just, I want to share that um, at Child Care Aware of Washington, we really um, love working with the community um, to ensure that children experience those high quality, um, racial, uh, racially equitable early care and education opportunities um, that we know are so very vital um, to their growth and development. And so we really do want to offer you supports that helps you do your work um, to empower and help the children dream and flourish. Um, and we know that our supports and our work can only be done by embracing the adults that are truly caring and educating the children um, and the families. And so that's all of you, the, um, the families and the early care and education professionals. And so we wanted to share that with you. Um, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about our organization, um, I think Ms. April has dropped our, um, our website there. You can read more about our racial equity commitment as well. Okay. And now we're going to get into a little bit of the meat and potatoes. So um, as we begin our conversation today, um, we are going to ask you to think about business supports that you think or you feel would be most helpful to you, um, you know, as an owner as or as uh, operating your child care business, uh, maybe as a director um, or administrator. Uh, we know that the child care community is facing a lot of challenges these days. We know that many of these um, hardships were experienced, you know, pre-pandemic and certainly have heightened um, during the pandemic and, and post-pandemic as, as we're moving into those areas. Um, we've heard year after year from many of our early achievers participants how vital and how helpful the support of our early achievers coaches um, has been. And so one of the benefits of being in early achievers is, is having access to an early achievers coach. And a coach can assist you in navigating the numerous supports. Um, they can help uh, be a reflective partner uh, that supports your professional and business goals um, in doing so in a relationship-based and goal-oriented approach. Um, in partnership with each of you as a participant to Early Achievers. And so um, I just wanna pause for a second, um, you know, and leave these questions up um, as you think about what would be most helpful for you and support. We will be sharing what some of the services that we offer, some of what the supports look like, um, but also we'd like to hear from you um, where we might be able to adjust or create some, some meaningful connections. And so here we just list some of the things that we've heard uh, throughout time um, that have been some challenges. Thank you so much, Ms. April. I just wanted to pause there a little bit longer and we're ready. All right, I see that. Okay. We're here to support you. We understand the critical role you as an early learning professional has in caring and educating young children. So um, you're an immense support to families. We hear it all the time. You're an immense support to the workforce here in Washington State. So just a big thank you for all you do um, and your dedication. Here you are probably after a very long day at work. Um, Child Care Aware Washington's committed to being a vital support to you um, in our child care community. So here on this slide, um, there's a couple of services that we call out and that are available to you. Again, these are um, available at no cost to you. So we're gonna take some time to dive into these a little bit deeper. And as we covered some of these shared benefits and services, um, we would like to, again, just emphasize the immense help that our Early Achievers coaches can be in helping you navigate the multi uh, multitude of services um, so that it really tailors your need. So if you don't have a coach, 
um, you can request one uh, right now. Um, and just go to the link that Ms. April dropped. It's called Find Your Coach. Um, and it has about five questions. You can just, you know, answer those five questions. Um, anyone that is an early achiever, so any licensed child care program is eligible to be an early achievers um, and can have access to all of these benefits and shared services that are provided to you at no cost. So that's correct. If you hear about any of these services that may have a cost, please feel free to contact us um, and just get more information about how you can access things at no cost to you. <laughs> so we're going to move on and um, we'd like to talk a little bit about the program itself and offer you um, some links where there's additional information you can also request a, a free consultation to learn more about this program. And we can set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting to talk about um, what you can expect as an Early Achievers participant. Okay. So here about Early Achievers, um, you can see some things here. So um, many states in their efforts to um, kind of be able to increase observable quality in childcare settings have really um, kind of taken on the efforts of implementing a quality rating and improvement system. Here in the state of Washington, our quality rating and improvement system um, is called Early Achievers. We call it QRIS for short. Um, so you might hear that acronym. We'll do our best not to use acronyms. But in Washington, our, our uh, quality recognition system really focuses on quality recognition and that improvement cycle. We want to acknowledge the existing quality um, that it already exists in your early learning program, while also offering some tailored supports to grow in areas that you'd like to grow in as a professional and where you want to take your program and supporting your community. So to enroll in early achievers, um, you can complete your online registration and merit. And you can also visit DCYF's Early Achievers webpage. Um, they offer many tools and resources that you're um, available to explore. Again, um, we understand that sometimes um, having too many resources and too many tools can be overwhelming. And we're happy to go through with them um, and set up a meeting either with um, a new coach um, or one of us at the Child Care Aware of Office, just to give you an overview of some of those benefits. So those links will be coming to you. Again, all licensed child care programs in the state of Washington are eligible and CARP can participate in early achievers just by enrolling in merit. Okay. So this is another graphic, just another way. Sometimes just all of the list of words um, can be overwhelming. We, we really don't kind of take them in. So just wanted to be able to give them to you in a different way. Um, and that hopefully this connects with you. You know, the, the, the biggest benefit to being an early achievers participant is really the access to all of these resources that you see here again. These are free resources um, that are listed on the slide, such as, you know, um, coaching and some of the free training, um, support to the grants, um, helping you set goals and plans around quality improvement, um, being awarded for that, being available uh, to access scholarships, even tier reimbursement with participation. And so um, all these services at no cost, um, as I mentioned earlier, the only thing that may have a very low fee um, might be customized training um, that can be provided for you. Um, and we can also connect and, and talk to you about um, how to have access to that. So if any questions come up, you can drop them in the chat for us. And we're going to move on. And um, this is just, we wanted to show you a photo um, don't worry about reading the very, very fine print. We can make this available to you if, if you're interested um, and um, connect you with a coach as well if you'd like to leave your um, email in the chat. 
but um, we just talked about many different benefits to early achievers. And let's just focus on just one for now, one of those many benefits that you'll have access to. And let's take a closer look at coaching. So um, you can request this coaching menu, like I said, from, from either an early achievers coach, um, or you can drop your name um, in the chat and we can follow up. But from this menu, you can select from a variety of coaching services. It's two pages, it's double-sided, um, to suit the needs of your program. So I just want to share a little bit about how coaching works um, in Child Care Wear Washington. Um, so coaches collaborate um, and do their work within a diverse and experienced team of um, other coaches as well. So they're part of a, a larger team. And they do this to offer many services that you see here on the coaching menu. So your coach may refer you to um, another service area or another coach or a specialist um, that can fully support you in your area of focus that you might need. And just a few categories of um, service menu items on this, on this list include things like targeted supports around social emotional skill development for children or business coaching um, or leadership coaching. And I'd like to give you an example of how the menu may be used um, by a provider. Um, so let's just take a scenario here. Um, we'll just say that, you know, um, you may have noticed that, um, you know, there were challenges with um, onboarding and retaining new staff members, let's just say. Maybe perhaps we had to quickly put them into a classroom due to ratios. Um, and perhaps that um, they didn't wanna stay on the job very long. And so um, as you review the menu, perhaps you may notice that you see an option that's called leadership coaching supports. So you may reach out to your coach to learn more about this option because um, you can use it to help you in quickly onboarding and retaining your staff by ac accessing some of the tools and platforms that are available in that content area. So what might happen is that perhaps your coach will either provide this targeted service themselves, or if that's not within their um, area of focus, they might refer you to another coach from their team to spend some time with you providing that focused um, practice and, and support uh, to strengthen your, your program onboarding and promote staff retention so that you're able to um, retain your staff a little bit longer and less turnover, um, helping you save time and money in the onboarding of new staff. So I hope that that example helps a little bit. Um, and again, I just want to reiterate that we work with teams of, of coaches and consultants. Um, so sometimes the coach that you're working with may refer you to another coach or a mental health consultant if you're seeking those kinds of supports for children and teachers in your in your program. And so we are really just trying to maximize all of our resources to best support each of you. Thank you. That was a that slide had a, a big example. So let's move on to the next one. Thank you. Um, yes, this map here, uh, this colorful map. So Child Care of Water Washington provides uh, services to uh, early learning professionals across six regions shown here. And so each of the six regions is a, a slightly different color. And so, those services are delivered in partnership with five community-based organizations and one educational service district throughout the state. Um, and for this reason, uh, licensed child care providers are eligible to participate in early achievers statewide. So um, we provide our services across the state. Again, if you're interested in finding um, either a region or a coach, we can help you do that at Child Care Aware of Washington. Um, here we have another example for you, and this is more of an example that's um, that we kind of put under like a business support. So as we mentioned earlier, Early Achievers really does offer many benefits as a shared service, meaning that there's no cost to you to access it. 
we've partnered with a child care management system that's called Great Wheel. Um, there was a lot of research and we wanted to make sure that there was, um, you know, alignment um, to the state of Washington's um, time in attendance collection, you know, for subsidy. And so we've connected with Right Wheel. Um, many of you might be part of, of that pilot. And so we have, um, we offer um, at no cost 100 um, programs um, this year. Um, to be uh, able to utilize um, this child care management system called Bright Wheel um, as a support to um, improving some of those kind of back office um, tasks that are needed. Um, and what we have found so far is that many of the programs that have begun to utilize this child care management system um, to full kind of use are seeing where they are really benefiting from saving staff time and saving uh, staff salary on some of these tasks that are now automated through the Bright Will program. And so this includes things like virtually signing children in and out, assisting with lesson planning, or um, helping with communication to parents um, as well. And so the system itself does have a way to tra track subsidy in terms of time and attendance and payments that are made. And so um, early achievers participants right now um, have an opportunity uh, to kind of experience and um, try Bright Wheel as a way to support kind of those back office supports um, as mentioned earlier. So if you're interested um, in learning more about Bright Wheel, um, you can visit our page on our business supports page that we call Child Care Business Edge, or we call it Biz Edge for short, and we can drop that link. And if you're interested in maybe having someone walk you through that because it might be easier, you can always just drop your um, email in chat and we'll be happy to um, give you a tour of uh, the business platform we call Biz Edge and you can learn more about Bright Wheel. Um, let me tell you a little bit more about Biz Edge. Um, on Biz Edge, this is free to um, child care directors um, and family child care owners as well. And so um, child care business edge or Biz Edge for short, as we call it, um, has so many different resources. It's like a one-stop, a business hub for resources. Um, there's, you're gonna see tools that are aligned to early achievers. Um, there's fillable policy forms. Um, and there's also, we've been partnering with DCYF's uh, Department of Licensing. Um, and we've highlighted the top 10 licensing and fractures or where people are needing more support. And um, we started a kind of a weekly WAC, what we call the weekly uh, WAC uh, blog. And so we've received great feedback and we've heard from many providers that it's been helpful. So we plan to continue that. We also list ideas like um, grant opportunities information. We have a customized um, tool that's called Aim to Retain um, that are, uh, early achievers coaches and early achievers participants have kind of curated together. So that's just an amazing um, tool that is available to you at no cost. And again, all of these different things um, you can find available on BizEdge. Um, and we're happy to provide that to you. Again, as a shared resource, there's no cost to you. Thank you so much, Ms. April. Um, again, as an early achievers participant, professional development, um, we feel it's just such a, a, an empowering opportunity for many, especially many that are um, working to um, meet their requirements um, of their position in childcare um, or aspiring um, to further their education or higher education. And so, um, one of the biggest supports that we have available is training and professional development. Um, it is offered uh, throughout the state, um, locally in many communities. 
um, and trainings are delivered um, in many languages. And so if you're interested in a customized training or a training to meet your job role, feel free to reach out to us um, and we can help connect you to a local training uh, organization. Um, as an example, one of the trainings that we've been highlighting is the business of child care. It just kind of also walks you through that policy and that business leadership aspect of operating um, your business. So there's often a lot of um, training and courses on the pedagogical things like curriculum, right? Um, lesson planning, assessments, those kinds of things. And so what we have found, especially as we moved through the pandemic was that we were needing more of a focus on the business leadership side. And so those are some of the things that we focused on. Um, but again, we can provide uh, individually individualized coaching supports to help really um, kind of provide in-depth application um, in, so that you can maximize um, all of the opportunity to really um, employ the, the work that you're learning, either in a course or in a uh, training opportunity. Um, so reach out to us if you have questions and how you can access state required training or customized training. Um, and with that, we'd like to move to our scholarships information. And so um, with early achievers uh, for academic professional development um, that is being taken at a Washington State College or University, um, the Child Care Washington Scholarship supports um, kind of these areas, a, a bachelor's degree pathway. Um, we also have some local initiatives through Pierce County um, and offer scholarships for the, a coaching certificate. And so through the Child Care Aware Washington, um, we support the bachelor's degree pathway. And if you are still working toward a bachelor's and you're working on certificates um, or your um, associate's degree, um, you can also contact um, your local community college um, that operates um, uh, scholarships for those programs. Um, and we can drop um, that information in the chat for you. But again, if it's helpful to you to kind of just talk this through, uh, feel free to reach out to us and um, drop either your phone number or um, your email and we'll make sure to connect. We are almost here wrapping it up. And so um, I'm hoping that you're doing okay um, and that you're thinking about the questions you'd like to raise. Uh, we have just a few more slides here. Um, one, we just like to highlight some of the administrative supports, as I mentioned earlier, kind of that focus on business leadership um, and the things that we do. We know that we have to focus both on business leadership along with the pedagogical leadership of curriculum and assessment to ensure a high quality program. And so again, just um, here are some ways that, that um, we can offer some administrative supports via your, your coaching or your professional development um, pathway. And so um, I'll let you take a few minutes here to um, read some of the information. We also partner with uh, DCYF's uh, licensing department to provide consultation for compliance on specific Washington Administrative Code, WAC. Um, is, so if you have um, a WAC that you would like additional support in meeting, um, that's something that Child Care of War Washington can, can support you in. Um, so if you're interested, just let us know. Um, there are many administrative supports listed um, in Child Care Biz Edge. Our dedicated coaches have carefully curated those resources based on their work with providers to enhance your, you know, and support you in managing every aspect of your early learning program. And so um, we'd love to invite you to uh, see some of those um, resources in our Aim to Retain um, resources on this edge. 
All right, wrapping this up here with some social emotional supports. Um, we know that, you know, bringing your whole self in, in giving of yourself in care and education for children um, requires, a, you know, so much support. And so here are some things that we offer in the way of social emotional supports um, for adults and also for children and families that access as an early achievers participant, you will have access um, to an infant and early childhood mental health program, a consultation that's called Holding Hope, um, and we'll provide that information. Your coach can provide a referral um, if you're interested in seeking supports for children and families, or perhaps a classroom teacher or yourself as a leader. Um, so this is a comprehensive support really embracing all of the adults that are caring for the children, including the children. Um, and so if you'd like to learn a little bit more about um, Holding Hope, our early childhood mental health consultation program, um, we can share that information with you in chat. Also, um, we offer trauma-informed care training to both providers um, and coaches um, in partnership with the University of Washington and Cultivate Learning Team. And so the Cultivate Learning Team at University of Washington, um, they provide other information and uh, services, supports to you um, on their website and on their, um, they call it the CC um, webpage, um, just many resources for you regarding early achievers and trauma-informed care. Okay, so this is our last slide and we are wrapping it up. We thank you so much for your time and attention. Um, one of the things that we know um, is that, you know, our work sometimes feel a little bit isolated. I remember being a preschool teacher and even a program director and at times feeling like it's hard when there's not um, too many other toddler teachers or preschool teachers or, or other directors uh, to share the work and how it's landing for you. And some one of the great kind of, um, I think, uh, resilience factor that early achievers looks like looks at is really taking care of the adult that's taking care of the child. And so Child Care Where Washington provides um, a collaborative community to support you. Um, you might have been part of this for years and years. You might call it in your community a uh, community of practice or a peer learning community or peer learning group. Um, and we really encourage this in early achievers to promote staff morale, reduce turnover, um, really just build a, a sense of belonging and community with other um, like experts like you. Um, and it really does have a focus on um, all aspects of the work, whether it's a business platform and sharing resources or talking about um, other organizational things, uh, curriculum development. And so um, a lot of this work is really done um, by bringing early learning professionals together and offering those programs. And we offer many of those across the state in a variety of language. So. If you're interested in being part of a collaborative community with other like-minded professionals, such as yourself, um, let us know, we're happy to connect you to one that's near you. Um, again, thank you so much. Um, we appreciate your time and I'm going to turn it over to Colleen. Well, hi everybody. That was a lot of support. <laughs> Thank you for thank you for being uh, a support to our our community and um, child care aware of Washington is very integral in that. Um, another one of our community partners that we DCYS works to provide technical assistance support um, is the Imagine Institute. Um, they are they provide uh, training and technical assistance um, regarding some of those business startup um, functions. Um, whether you're a family child care provider that's enrolled in early achievers and you're thinking you might want to become a, um, a, you know, open a center, um, there are, they, pro they will provide licensed 
Um, they'll provide technical assistance um, for licensing, subsidy billing and payment and electronic attendance system. Um, this is available to licensed family homes, centers, um, school age providers, outdoor nature based programs and family friend and neighbors um, at any point of their journey. Um, they, some of the things that they'll provide assistance with um, are related to these programs include showing providers where to find the, the Washington Administrative Code, the foundational quality standards for, for um, early learning, um, school age, outdoor nature-based um, programs um, to support them um, in their, their specific type of program. Uh, sharing information about DCYF resources and forms to support um, their businesses. There's a lot of information that is out there. And, and like um, Sandy said, sometimes it can be a little overwhelming to have those that all that information. So having some technical assistance through CCA of Law and um, other community partners that folks may be paired with or maybe partnering with um, is really helpful in being able to navigate all those different um, individualized specific things. They'll also provide um, individualized resources to access after technical assistance sessions, including um, referring um, to specific DCYF teams um, for more specialized support. Um, Another piece that can be a little tricky for folks to navigate at times is all of the online tools, all the online platforms that are necessary to participate in or um, in electronic attendance, um, um, in you know training, uh, finding way through merit and whatnot, and they they also provide technical assistance for um, those uh, in those participating programs. So a lot of support out there for folks. And um, so um, moving on, you know, there's, um, we have our partners that we work with out in the community, but we also have a lot of different um, ways to, for, to reach out for business support at DCYF related to your specific program. And you'll see here on the screen that we have contact information for our licensing department, DCF licensing department, um, our electronic attendance system um, folks, um, our subsidy billing uh, and payment, um, technical assistance, and additionally technical assistance through um, the Imagine Institute. And always, of course, um, learning more about early achievers, your early achievers business support on the Child Care Aware of Washington website. Um, that there's a QR code here. If you want to take a take a little uh, shot there to see um, the link you to that. Um, so um, another way to uh, stay connected and learn about all the different kinds of business supports that are happening or other opportunities is by uh, subscribing to the Early Care and Education newsletter. The newsletter is emailed out uh, monthly. And so it's really here to inform, engage, and inspire the early learning community. Uh, you can expect to read updates resources and other opportunities um, that are relevant to your um, specific um, early care and education setting. Um, I believe Katie just dropped the link in the in the um, yeah in the in the chat as well. So with that, that is everything we have to share tonight. Um, 